my second video my second video my second video my second video okay. anyway so i did get back in the military i signed my papers i don't remember what that paper was called but i signed it and i was a 68 sierra and now i'm switching over to 92 alpha i'm just waiting to go to ait for it but i did sign into my unit and i did in process um but i'm gonna go backwards first okay so i got out the middle i went to the military in 2012 i got out in 2013 because i got pregnant with my son and i already had a daughter and i didn't want to raise them separately so what they was trying to tell me was that i couldn't have my son and daughter in the same place so i just was like I'm just gonna get out because i'm not gonna raise my kids in two separate places so i just got out so i got out on chapter eight pregnancy and I had a realistic cold to be able to get back in. So that was the reason why um, I was able to get back in. So pregnancy chapter, I know for a fact, comes with a realistic cold that you can get back in. I know if you get med border, I don't think you can get back in, depending on what the issue was. But it's some other discharges that you can get back in with, but it's not a lot of them. I was able to get back in, but it's been like four years. So I got out in 2013, I had to do IRR, which is inactive, ready, reserve, where if, if there was anything bid to happen that they can call me back in. Um, so what I had to do, because I was still within my reserve time all the way until 2019, I was able to turn my inactive reserve into active reserve. So I think the process took all of like two days to sign. Um, to happen because it was easy just had to flip a switch but because I did get out on pregnancy chapter I had to show I had to get a letter from my doctor saying I wasn't pregnant and I had to write a letter myself saying I wasn't pregnant to get to the commander so they could flip the switch it took like I said two days so once I did that I just had to wait to end process they end process me and I had to go back they they got they cut me orders and then once they cut me orders I was able to go in processes when I tell y'all that in process took forever I was sitting there for four hours answering the same questions yes my daughter's my beneficiary you can add my son to it like bruh death sitting there four hours but I'm me so I just was making jokes about everything but that shit took forever but I got it done I got it done. I don't even think I'm finished. I still got to do other stuff because I have to, like, go and do all these health appointments, dental, HIV. I got to do all of that to get it back in her system because currently I'm red in everything. So I met my unit. I was supposed to go to drill last week, but I didn't go because it was last minute. Um, they assigned me to my drill unit on Wednesday, and they wanted me to go to drill that Saturday, but I didn't have anything set up for the kids yet, so I didn't go. And they was okay. They said, okay, just next drill. So my next drill is the first week, every first weekend of the month. So I go next month in September. Um, I'll make a video about that to let y'all know how to drill good. I should be able to get my AIT um, date as well. So I can go to do 92 Alpha, which is automated logistical specialist. I work in a motor pool. That's all I know. I work in the motor pool and I order parts. From what I hear, I don't do anything, but we gonna see. Um, what I was before at 68 Sierra was preventive medicine, a whole bunch of health inspections, a whole bunch of agricultural inspections, a lot of work, basically. A lot of work. So I just switched over to do something a little bit easier. Cause I heard, like I said, 92 Alphas, they don't do nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna do something a little easier. So my plans is to go active duty. Um, and I heard you can get on orders with um, reserves. So I'm going to try to get on orders on Fort Gordon, which is where I am. Um, go to Fort Gordon, get on active duty orders. Don't even have to really go anywhere. Just stay here with the kids. And um, that's about it. I'm just trying to flip over to active duty as soon as possible. And conveniently, um, I can go ahead and do that. So in the meantime, when I'm waiting on this, I work at T-Mobile. I work from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. So if y'all don't get a lot of videos from me, it's because I be motherfucking tired. I get up at 5.30 in the morning every day. I be tired. And I just ain't got time. I'm just playing. I got time. I make time for y'all. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and try to upload videos probably every two weeks. If so, try every two weeks. But I'm going to get them in here. But... I'm going to keep y'all updated alongside. What? You just ate. Bro, kids always got to eat as soon as it's time to go to bed. They always got to eat. They always thirsty. Like, 
I ain't. <sighs> boys are a mess. They a mess. And my boy is about to be four, and he's just whatever. Like he ain't hungry. Um, where was I? At? My plans? My plans? Yeah. yeah. Plans. Active duty. I work at T-Mobile now. That's about it. But, yeah. This is my second video. I can't believe I came back. I usually be giving up and not doing stuff. But anyway, um, I'll make sure I put all my stuff to follow me in the bottom on snapchat and instagram instagram is king dot tia t-e-e-y-a-a -A. snapchat is tia 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 it's all spelled different ways so i'll leave that at the bottom and i think that's all i got yeah but it'll all be at the bottom nonetheless but like i said if you have any questions let me know i'll answer them regarding anything I'm going to have my kids come and do a video for me. I'm going to let them do a voiceover because my son just swear he knew everything. My daughter do too. So I'm going to let them talk and think, see what they be saying. But I did my makeup, y'all. First time ever doing a full face. I feel pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. Bye, y'all.